as they have improved, the Kansas State offense has improved. And Gary Lulcher did a good job of helping yes, out on he that, did. didn't he? Spool switch, cuts back daylight, 45, out to midfield, and another Kansas State first down. Five foot seven inches. Darren Sproles, the elusive one. Watch him read this block right here. Coming from the end, I think it's Jonathan Jackson comes inside. No, it's Dusty Dvorak, number 94, inside Odd Lecky comes inside. And well, I don't know who's going to win the Heisman this year. I really don't know right now. But I'll tell you, Darren Sproles is going to be the front runner for next year. This guy is an emerging star. Well, he could win the Dope Walker this year. He's one of the three finalists, along with Chris Perry of Michigan and Kevin Jones of Virginia Tech. First time that a K-State player has ever been a finalist for the Dope Walker. Here he comes again, cutting through the middle, taking charge before straight rides him down at the 36-yard line. And now Sproles with 13 more yards. 94 rushing yards against this defense. 97, Tommy Harris. You know, we talk about patience for a quarterback. Oklahoma's defensive line, where's that patience? He's rushing the passer on a running play. You must have patience and read your keys. Oklahoma is a hurry to make plays that aren't there. Polite is the slot receiver to Roberson's left. Terry is outside him. Draw play. Here comes Spurs to the short side of the field. Makes his way to the 30-yard line. And uh, Jack Duran spoils the little tank. And Brent, he has been dominant since he was eight years old and started playing in the Pee Wee Leagues. In fact, he was so big in those Pee Wee games, he was so dominant that they changed the rules. They actually wrote a rule for Darren Sproles saying he'd only run the ball just so many times. His high school coach, Gene Weir, said they had to do it because nobody could catch him. He almost could sneak out in that Pee Wee League right now and nobody would notice him, would they? 5-7. <laughs> Maybe. Team this year makes a huge recovery. Now on first down, Sproles spins in the hole inside the 10-yard line. Looking for the record breaker. He has tied the Big 12 championship record. Brandon Stewart of Texas A&M in that big win over Kansas State. Through three in that game. Looking for the record. Got it. Touchdown. And the folks in purple right now, I mean, they can taste it. They have not won a championship of any kind since 1934 when Kansas State was a member of the Big Six. They're 15 minutes away from the biggest upset of the season. It's back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. I have no idea. One thing I do know is there's going to be a run on computers. Everybody's going to want to find out what's going on. Go get your computer right now. I got no clue, folks. All I know is what we're seeing here is amazing. 28-7 and Spurs boats Man. the first down. I mean, they're starting to put it to him a little bit here. You can just think of the emotions. Snyder taking over a program that, uh, if not the worst in the country, was certainly amongst them. And turning Kansas State into a power. Perhaps the greatest turnaround in college football history. And now he has got a team that's been compared with the very best of all time on the ropes. Spurs reaches down, picks it up. And straight tackles him. Fourth and long. And almost have to score every possession. So here's a big third down for the Sooners. Picked off. Intercepted by Teddy Sims. Touchdown. The dagger is delivered by the young man who deflected that ball earlier in the end zone. Races into the end zone, and suddenly, folks, this is not a close loss. This is a runaway for the Wildcats. How wrong could I be? I said Kansas State had absolutely had a chance to beat Oklahoma, but they had to win by a TKO. They've got the champ on the mat, and it ain't count. They could knock out Oklahoma in this football game, and they could knock Jason White right out of the Heisman. Oklahoma had plundered the Big 12. You can see the comparison of the school's averages and what they did against this OU defense. Pay a particular attention to Colorado. They put up a good stand against them. But then take a look at what Kansas State has done here tonight. They have put 35 on the board. 
And Sproles takes off in a foot race. Can Straight get him? They've got him out of bounds, but there is a flag back by the line of scrimmage. And it's interesting that just during that commercial, Lynn Stiles of the Kansas City Chiefs front office came in here and made the observation to me that Sproles reminded him of Dante Hall. And with that speed down the sideline over there, uh, it was certainly reminiscent of the little fella uh, covering a lot of real estate he, here. He's much bigger than Dante. Runs like him, but he's bigger than him. This might be against Oklahoma. I'll tell you, he ran right by Derek Strait, and Strait had the angle on that play also. I was shocked that he ran by Derek Strait like that. There's a lot of meeting going on here. You know, Gary, thinking of the Big 12 championship and the many great games that I have seen unfold, the very first one. Before Mason was legal, there were seven people on the line of scrimmage. Therefore, there's no flag. I think L. Roperson's injury just derailed them, and they didn't catch it again until they got back after three losses. Here's Bulls. Down at the 10-yard line, Darren Sproles with 65 more yards, and now he has rushed for 239 here tonight against Oklahoma. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Darren Sproles puts over 200 yards. There's Bobby Elliott, co-defensive coordinator. Came from Iowa. He knows this football game is a success. And now watch it. He popped it. Go for it, Darren. <laughs> Bobby has been through a lot, Fred. We know that. He was at Iowa. He got sick. He battled cancer. Had to step away from coaching. Has come back with his good friend Bill Snyder back in the football. And talked to him before the game. He said he's feeling great. Sproles has just put up a Big 12 title game record with 237 yards. Roberson put up a Big 12 title game record with four touchdown passes. Those are huge numbers against this Oklahoma defense. Well, I wonder if the Nebraska coaches think Kansas State's running up the score here against Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, they'll come down here and accuse them of running it up. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> but congratulations go out to Kansas State. The seconds tick away. Bill Snyder has won his first Big 12 championship. And there he is going across the field now for the congratulatory handshake with one of his uh, former coaches, Bob Stoops. Stoops, of course, congratulating him and uh, Snyder, their longtime old friends. And, uh, you know, the rivalry developed. And Bobby rated the coaching staff and uh, some warm moments there. A couple of very class guys. Let's go down to Jackal Lee. Well, Coach, getting the congratulations from Brent Venables. This final reminder that fans can pick up the Coach, I would have to think the understatement of the day would be this is your biggest win. Is that your statement or mine? Fine. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what was the turning point? What was the key tonight, Coach? I just kept playing. You know, it was, you know, I, I don't know that, you know, Jesus, man, it's, it's going to be all right. We'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> Relax. I think it was just that our players kept playing. You know, nobody got too high. I mean, there was a lot of excitement, but they kept playing, and that's what you have to do. you got to play four quarters against a team like this. What about the performance of Darren Sproles and your quarterback, L. Roberson, and your defense team, for that matter? Well, I'll tell you, if you've got a, do you have a vote for the Heisman? All right, who would you vote for? <laughs> well, tell me, Jack. <laughs> Who would you vote for? I'm going to have to make that decision this week, Coach. Well, if you do, don't forget Derek Sproles, <laughs> who is probably the leading all-purpose rusher in yeah. the country. And you see why. And if, and if Heisman people saw him, they would understand what I'm talking about. 